Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to do a review, and this time, of a graphic novel. This graphic novel will be Uncanny X-Force Apocalypse Solution. This is the first story arc of the Rick Remender run that is still currently going on, and it's still currently awesome. From that statement alone, you can probably guess that this is a book that I love. Uh, I want to review it because I don't see too many reviews of a lot of the Uncanny X-Force stuff, and I want to add to that because this is a book that people really should be reading. Now, the main idea of the story is the Uncanny X-Force are a team of people, for those who don't know, that handle stuff that the normal X-Men can't or won't. The dirty stuff. Dirty deeds, if you will. This is them. Now, in this run, it is Deadpool, Wolverine, Archangel, Psylocke, and Phantom X, which are made of a bunch of characters I normally don't really care too much about, but Reminder makes you care about them in his whole run, and this is a great place to start because it's the beginning. So anyway, the main idea of the story is that Apocalypse is back, and they have to kill him. Only problem is, he's been resurrected as a kid. Pretty good uh, idea, right? Executed excellently. The art in this book, just to, if I can find an example of how amazing this artwork can be, I will. It's just beautiful. That's all you can really say about it, because it's just some incredible incredible beautiful artwork that I love. Apocalypse there, sitting looking awesome. Uh, this book, for those who don't really normally read Marvel, this would be a book even the DC fans I would say recommend to buy because it's it's not too heavy on past continuity even though if you have read a lot of the X-Men and X-War stuff it just adds a bunch to it but if you don't know any of the history I'm pretty sure you can read this and know exactly what's going on. Now there there's really not too many bad things in this book. I would say most of the issues I really love, most of everything I love, even the uh, Four Horsemen, who are on the back here, are very interesting incarnations of the Four Horsemen. For those who don't know, there have been several different Four Horsemen through various universes, dimensions of apocalypses. They're mainly apocalypses' main force. They are his right-hand men, and totally awesome or depending on what version you read could be terrible and I uh, throughout the story and even for the past uh, story arc that just ended the Dark Angel saga it's all about Angel and how he is having to fight Archangel and for those who don't know Archangel is pretty much his second half his by if he's bipolar it would be his second part of him and it's a seed that Apocalypse planted deep in him a long time ago. So it's really cool to see Angel have to turn an Archangel to fight these villains, but have to keep him subdued enough to where he won't just go crazy and kill everyone and do what Apocalypse pretty much programmed him to do. And this is really, on, honestly, I would say, because of my love for Apocalypse and my love for uh, Rick Remender and X-Force, I would say a 10 out of 10. There's a little bit of bias there just because when I grew up, X-Men is what got me into comics, and Apocalypse was always my favorite villain. So it's a little bit biased there, but still, I would still say there is not no reason you shouldn't buy this book. It is just great. Uh, without spoiling too much, like I said, uh, Apocalypse is a kid, and the big thing is, should they kill him? And when they all find out he's a kid towards the end of the book, there are some great moments there with Angel fighting himself to kill him, trying to convince himself, should he, shouldn't he, what will happen if he uh, continues to exist, and just all kinds of things. Reminder has, from the beginning in this, done a great job on Uncanny X-Force up until now, which, you know, I think the previous issue was, what, 20, 21? I reviewed it on my channel, too, and I'm still loving it. Now, this is when the artwork was at its best. From this point till the uh, end of the Dark Angel saga, the artwork were, was incredible. So I would say... If you don't read Marvel, if you don't read Uncanny X-Force, pick, just pick this up and tell me what you think. Because you can get it pretty cheap off Amazon. And this or the Dark Angel Saga, they're all really, really good. They're all fun reads. Like I said, for, a, for someone who mainly reads DC, except for a few exceptions, this is one of the best things I've read in a while. Uh, I'm going to have some more reviews up pretty soon. I'm going to try to have some different reviews than all a lot of people have for some graphic novels that... Don't get reviewed too much, but they're still incredible. I probably won't be doing any like Dark Knight Returns or Year One or any 
of the big ones just because I love them. I'm a Batman fan. I'm a, or even like a lot of the classic X-Men Age of Apocalypse and stuff like that. I probably won't review on this channel just because I'll tell you right now, I love most of that stuff just because of who I am. I may do one or two, but if there's any graphic novels or any comics you want me to review that I'm not currently doing, leave a comment, like it, subscribe, do whatever. See you guys in another review.